So Duke medicine uh, can be defined uh, largely by its traditions. Um, super great clinicians, really great role models, and uh, wonderful people to work with. And Walking down the hallway, you know, towards 8300, you see uh, the faces of all the people who've contributed. Physicians that challenge what we know of medicine today. Uh, these are the, the foundations, the rock upon which this, this institution was built. Seeing a place that has so much tradition makes you feel like you want to be a part of something bigger than yourself. You know, we're all just so lucky to be at Duke. That's, that's part of just the milieu of what we do. That's the people we train, that's the people we bring in, uh, and that's the product we turn out, is excellence and in innovation and research in all forms. My co-residents, you know, the class of 2004, they were, they were lucky because they got to do residency with me. I don't know that I could define the, the chief year by a, a single memory, but yet a collection of memories and more of a feeling, kind of the culture of camaraderie and friendship and, and being a part of tradition, being a part of something bigger than yourself. And what I think made uh, my fellow chiefs and I a great team was a commitment to each other. Really, like, the key to having fun as a chief is, is being close with your colleagues, your two co-chiefs. And the, the camaraderie we had uh, the teamwork we shared and the memories we have together will be with, will be with me always. My co-chiefs were Christina, Christina Barkowskis, and then uh, Dave Shrigley. Uh, no, not Dave. Doug. Doug Shrigley. The holiday party is just a wonderful event. Um, I have a background in uh, rocking the stage performance at the holiday party really is an opportunity for the Chiefs to come together as a team. And Doug and Christina and I um, basically got up there and melted faces. Uh, you know, really the goal of the holiday party and the Chief performance is to really draw attention to uh, the success of the group as a whole rather than to uh, highlight one specific individual. All right. Yeah, you know, the Chief performances after ours were, were solid. They were. Uh, they were workmanlike. I'd like to describe my contribution to the next year's chief performance. I think my contribution to it was salvaging it. Uh, they did a nice little number and through some sequence of events I was invited back out there, sort of an encore performance and again, you know, as is my want, I melted faces. We are trying to extend uh, beyond these Hallett Halls to make uh, both a national and global brand to change not just the way we practice medicine here in North Carolina, but truly how we practice medicine across the, 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 the globe. You know, I, I see Duke's role as essentially melting the collective faces of every other elite medical program out there. Dr. Galanos, he's enthusiastic, he brings energy to medicine, he enjoys his work, he makes other people enjoy his work. If I could pick one faculty member to be sort of the ambassador for, for Duke Medicine on a global stage, <clears throat> I'd probably pick Matt Crowley. No, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I know I can't pick myself. Our, our illustrious chair, Mary Klotman. Uh, I certainly would think about Ralph Corey. No, no, seriously, it would be Matt Crowley. If John Bay were a member of the Beatles, I would say he'd be sort of, he'd be sort of a Ringo. If I had to summarize what Duke Medicine means to me in one word, it would be innovation. If Brian Griffith were a member of the Beatles, I would say, you know, I would say probably Ringo. The mission of Duke Medicine is to create leaders in medicine. Eileen Maziars, uh, Susanna Nagy, female Ringos. And that's good. I mean, Ringo is, he's lovable. Um, he's goofy. Uh, if I could sum up Duke Medicine in one word, it would be quality. If I describe Matt Crowley as one of the Beatles, let's say John. No, no. Sort of, actually, sort of a, the perfect hybrid of John and Paul. Um, that's how I would describe Matt Crowley. If I could transport myself back in time, the Fab Four could have been the Fab Three, just Ringo, George Harrison, and Matt Crowley.